I'm Craig Keaton. I'm a senior at Johns Brock High School and a member of Johns County Central FSA. This series of chapter in your store is 300 Parmall. These are my partners in trying to work on it with me. Hi, I'm Will Bevelt. I'm a senior at Johnson Brock. I'm Doug Grocher and a sophomore at Johnson Brock, also a member of the JCC FSA. After when you he, when he worked on the engine, the tractor had gone over through a recent overhaul to the car when they first started working on it. There was no grease on the block at all, and you could tell the block had been boiled. And when they inspected the engine, all the back time were up to time. So we, all the work that we did in the engine was basically replacing gaskets, and the valve cover, side plate, hydraulic pump, oil pan, and all that stuff. One of our most in-depth projects was the rear end. We completely disassembled it, removing all parts to inspect and clean. We ended up putting new seals and gaskets and everywhere. We did not find any troubles with the gears or anything. They're in very good shape. From the factory, this tractor is equipped with a fast hitch, which is IH's version of the rear hitch. And here's an example of where we used some of our new hoses. Uh, old ones are what rotted and wore through in a few spots. Uh, the fast pitch was in rough shape. It was evidence that the farmer that had it before us uh, never greased it because the bushings in here and here, so the pivot points here were completely worn through. So we had to replace them by using bushing drivers and buying new ones in case that age. One of our biggest problems we could see from the beginning was the steering support located right here where our steering shaft comes down from an angle and then there's support right here underneath these two bolts in which it angles at a less of an angle up to here. Here there's a greaser which is to be greased through here. Well evidently the farmer before us did not grease it and so the shaft was nearly wore a quarter of an inch of play in here. For safety reasons we went through, rebuilt the shaft and rebuild a new bushing and now the steering is tight and safe to drive.